What would Jack Welch say about what, what happened uh, with GE coming out of the Dow Industrials? I, I think he would be uh, equally heartbroken over that, Maria. I mean, uh, you know, he spent 20 years as a CEO and, and delivered consecutive quarter after quarter, year after year, predictable, sustainable growth. And we've seen just the opposite of that, uh, certainly in the last 15, 16 years. Certainly. Can it come back? I think it's, uh, it's going to be a Herculean task to bring it back, in my opinion. You know, and I love that company, and I, everybody there was great. Uh, I couldn't, you know, couldn't have achieved what we achieved without great men and women committed, passionate, mm. aligned, culturally, you know, wanting to win every day and deliver, yeah. uh, not only to our shareholders, but most importantly to our customers. Well, I don't think I'm overstepping by saying that you and Jack are more concerned about the people who've lost their jobs because of the mismanagement of a Jeff M. Alt and, and the people on the, on some of the people on the board at the time rather than yeah. it coming out of the Dow. I think that, the, that people don't give Jack and people like you enough credit for having a heart and yeah. really, know, and really feeling. Um, the pain of people oh, who yeah. lose their jobs. And, and coming out of the doubt yeah. is just emblematic of right, that. Exactly. that. That's just that a symptom of that. That yeah. was predictable. And, and Dagan, here's the real pain. I'm getting hundreds of calls about people concerned about their pension. And, and I've been through this personally myself. And you talk about gut-wrenching communication. Oh, by the way, your pensions are gone. And, and it will be devastating to hundreds of thousands of employees and retirees, should that happen, Maria. Yeah. So I... I uh, it's a sad day, and I hope, I hope that Flannery can turn this thing around, that can cover unfunded pensions. How, how long pensions. will shareholders give Flannery? Or when, when will he, I mean, will he stay in the job? Well, it's, uh, you know, he's been there over a year. People ask me, well, what would you do? I'd say, well, I'd do something. <laughs> right. You know, you've got to do something. And they, they did the transportation deal, but that cash doesn't come in until next year. So somebody's got to take a hard look. You know, you saw J.P. Morgan uh, analysts take a look at this, and that they're going to be short on cash. You know, they still have about $4.2 billion of dividends to, to, to kick out, even though they've cut it in half. Wow. So cash is king, and, and they're going to have to really, you know, they talk about 20, am I right, James, $20 billion of disposition. You've got to get after it. Hmm. And they, yeah, people are wondering where the growth comes from.